guys, Vern here, Poggy Boy Production. So we're here in Jersey City. I'm about to actually go meet up with a couple of the guys, Romeo and Pete. We're gonna check out uh, called something called the Jersey City Night Market. Now it's a little bit late in the day, so I don't know how crowded it's gonna be. The best thing if you're gonna do to these night markets is go early so you it's not a lot of people. So um, I'm assuming it's gonna have a lot of people there. There's probably gonna be long lines too. So um, we have a backup plan just in case because we want to try out a couple of the food options there. And uh, if that doesn't work out, we're gonna head over to Cellar 335, which is in the same location in the downtown Jersey City area. And um, you know, it's this place I heard is pretty good with the food. It's a um, fusion, I think, of Korean, Asian inspired, and uh, there's Hawaiian tiki flavor. Kind of reminds me of what I had in what I saw in Vegas. So yeah, it's gonna be the first time for me. So we'll see how it goes, but we'll check out the night market first and then we're gonna head over to Cellar 335. So anyway guys, keep watching.
spicy chicken noodle right here. That's pretty good. Coming up next, I got the ube cannoli. I think that's a mango sorbet ice cream. You know, I had to get it with ube. Can't go wrong with that. It's chocolate mousse right there. Right? Chocolate mousse. Look how purple that is. The purple ube cannoli. Good. So we ended up not staying at the Jersey Night Market. We went there around 4 o'clock so it was already late and by the time we start getting online and getting food uh, the event itself will probably be finished already because it was ending at 9 p.m. So I, I didn't think it was worth it. Romeo and P2. So we ended up going to seller 3 to 335. But anyway, if you guys want to check out Jersey Night Market, there is a schedule of events listed on their page. We might go back, but we'll go earlier this time so we could enjoy all the festivities. Um, they're not every weekend, but they do have a listing maybe like every month something on the weekend will happen but yeah it's a jersey night market so we went over to seller 335 now that was fun like the whole vibe the whole atmosphere reminded me of a tiki hawaiian vibe just like the one where i went to in las vegas this one had uh asian inspired food like i had the uh, drunken chicken noodles which is i believe is a thigh dish and you can see by the noodles they're a little thicker than what you're seeing the, the noodles itself was delicious i ate all of it uh, had like broccoli i believe and tomatoes it was good i definitely would eat it again if i had the chance to order but there are so many different many items there pete and romeo both got the pork belly bao buns but i believe you could also get it in chicken if you wanted to uh you could you make it yourself you know you could put as much meat as you want on the, the, the buns itself he said it was uh delicious it was soft and the pork belly was very tender so that's another good option for me maybe i'll try that next time the drinks were great i had the smoldering bastard which i believe had rum in it had passion fruit so there, you could taste a little bit of the fruitiness on mine but you could still taste the liquor so you could definitely feel it after a few drinks Pete got the Fe Fearless 5 I believe and I think that had tequila and he told me uh, it was pretty strong so I believe him <laughs> and I, I don't even know what Romeo had but it was the presentation was excellent with all the fire and the flames but he had a few drinks, so I, I could tell that he would he was gonna have a good time afterwards because he had a few more shots after that. This place is seller 335. Prices aren't cheap. They're uh, in the, a little bit in the high side, but you are paying for the atmosphere. You are paying for some good food, I think. And uh, it's here in Jersey City, you can't miss it. I recommend you guys do reservations because when we went, we didn't do reservations and the next available time slot was like nine o'clock, three hours later so we ended up just sitting at the bar they told us you could sit at the bar luckily it wasn't as crowded so we were able to sit next to the bar we got to see the bartender do his magic and uh, yeah and we enjoyed each other's company so if you guys want I leave all the info the address and information down below check them out when you can they're in Jersey City you'll love it I guarantee so anyway if this is your first time in this video ring that bell smash that uh red button down below that subscribe button so you get notified of all our future videos share this video if you can so like everyone says sharing is caring like 
and comment and i'll see you in the next one thanks guys